Hey guys, hope you're going well. Today I'm talking about the Studio Ghibli animated movie When Mani Was There. Now this movie comes from director Hiromasa Yonobayashi and he did in 2010 The Secret World of Variety. Now that movie has to be one of my lesser favorites from the Studio Ghibli universe of amazing magical fantastical animated movies. That's not to say it's not a great movie, it's just one of my lesser favorites. Now I feel this follow-up movie of his when Marnie was there it has to be of a similar vein to that and also another movie people are drawing similarities to would be The Wind Rises. Now what makes this movie different from some of the other more action adventure driven Studio Ghibli films such as Howl's Moving Castle, La Puzza Castle in the Sky, Princess Mononoke I could go on would be that this movie is more grounded in reality that's not to say it doesn't have some magical elements sprinkled throughout out, but its feet are firmly placed on the ground. This is a story about identity and coming of age. It follows Anna who was always a very happy child but now as a young teen she's struggling with anxiety and she's become quite reclusive. So her adoptive mother comes up with the idea to send her away for the summer to her aunt and uncle's house in the country. Anna comes across this old abandoned mansion and in the mansion she meets and befriends the mysterious Marnie and the two Two of them strike up this immediate sort of kindred spirit connection, very passionate, very beautiful and it really brings Anna back to life. Marnie is all these things that Anna is not. She's just joyous and bubbly, outgoing. Her nature is very contagious. And a lot of the movie is about the two of their friendship really developing. However, there is a bit of a mystery going on about who Marnie is and what her mysterious past is all about and how that ties in with Anna. So that's really the main driving force of the whole plot. I came across this comment on Twitter. I can't remember who said it now, but they described the movie as having a quiet grace and I really really agree with that comment there's not a lot of dire conflict but it's just a beautiful story about relationships and people and sort of getting to know yourself better and learning to love yourself. In the Studio Ghibli universe of all the beautiful animations that they've put out, this movie doesn't really stand out for me, but that's not to say that it's not a beautifully crafted movie, a beautiful animation and absolutely well worth seeing if you are a fan of Studio Ghibli in general. They were my thoughts on when Marnie was there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave me comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this movie. You can also subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with my other movie and TV reviews. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.